Okay, so, <clears throat> is she gonna come in? Or is she just gonna wait outside? I'm not sure. Maybe you should probably, like, she can stop by. Oh, nice. At 10 a.m. she can park on the street. Like I, I was here from 9 9.15. 9 I was driving around trying to get a parking space. Serious? Yeah. Trying to get a parking space. Okay, so, shagadelic, baby. Let's do it. First thing we're gonna do with Lena's hair is we're gonna she has the short undercut from underneath we're gonna come this way and we're gonna section this out so we sectioned at the round of the head and we're sectioning through here and this is where we're gonna start the actual start the cut right in here set my razor Got my special white razor here, ivory. Have a look and see what's underneath. Okay, good. So, we're gonna just clean this up to put a little bit of shape in there. Keep the length, but just put a little bit of shape. Now, when you're working with hair that's been so lightened, sometimes the razor slides right off. But I think we're doing pretty good. It feels like I'm getting a nice bite. So just working through. Sectioning through, section two. Now, if you was with me on my uh, scissor class, I did a hands-on scissor class this week, three days. Uh, you'll have learned this technique, but with a scissor, or this approach, but with a scissor. Uh, and if you want to learn, if you're in Buffalo, the old guy's coming to Buffalo this weekend. And I'm teaching a class in Buffalo. And uh, you're, if you're interested, you go to arojopro.com and sign up. And that's where I'll be. It's a one-day scissor classic cutting class from 10 to 4. So it's a good full day, all hands-on, socially distant, making magic happen. And it'll be my first trip, so... Come and support us. And if you're not in Buffalo, but you know people, let them know. So using the flat of the blade, just to melt that hair away. Now, as I said to you, the, the bite of the blade's a little slightly different when you're working on such blonde hair. Now we've we'll come from the side, we're gonna come into the back. And she's got some undercut underneath. We're gonna let that grow too. Because guess what? We, uh, we gotta keep changing Lena's hair. Yeah. So right now what I'm doing is I'm connecting from that shortest point into the longest point so I can keep some length just poking through here. And then I'm gonna rotate my blade and just with a tip, just with a point, just texturize. Next section, diagonal back. Literally following from here, come through, fine teeth of the comb, just razor this in. So our three day cutting class was really great. Also, if you're interested, and uh, you can check out my Nick at Nine, which was on Tuesday night. And we spoke to uh, the president of ACTS, the American Association of Cosmetology Schools. Uh, and it was a great conversation. Okay, so right now what we're doing is we're connecting this in. So keep your sections, nice clean sections. Don't need to clip. And uh, I'll look through the hair, look for the shortest piece. And then literally, Raise it down. We want to allow the hair to dry out. When the hair dries out, the blade connection gets even better. When you're working on uh, such porous, naturally blonde hair. And this week's been a busy week teaching the class. We did Happy Mondays on Monday night. It was a lot of fun. 
and uh, obviously we've got clients today, tomorrow, Saturday. Fly up to Buffalo, teach my class Sunday. And then I'll be back behind the chair on Monday, early afternoon. Uh, unfortunately, the bad news is New York's starting to close down states, uh, regions again. They started to close down some areas in Brooklyn as they uh, continue to cause chaos for uh, small business owners and people alike. So uh, who knows what the future is going to bring? But that's what we're living in. That's what we're living with here in New York City. We're living with. Uh, a heavy hand of the government taking, uh, taking our freedoms away. Working from the underneath, I can work to keep the hair longer. I can scoop it out. And then what I can do is I can come through here and I can just tip it out to add a little bit more texture. Combing it through. Tip of the blade. Combing that all the way up. And just having a look to see how good she looks as we move over what we'll do is we'll do exactly the same on this side we'll save the the top until I've done the foundation on either side so section where the head rounds off again and you can see she's got the shortness here too so we section that off we section over the top of the ear Come the hair back, come this hair forward. Kayla said Scotland is also closing down, people are just not getting it. Not getting what? You know, I spoke to my friend in Florida, Florida's wide open, cases are going down and it's back to, restaurants are 100%. And the transmission spreads low. So, who knows? But uh, Florida's completely open. Same country, completely open. England, who knows? I left there. I left there to come to a country that had uh, what I felt was a lot more uh, of an opportunity. Now this, this uh, state's changing a little bit. But it's bad for business. I have salon owners in Brooklyn that are closed. And um, it's a tragedy. Yeah, it's a modern tragedy. Disaster. But the good news is, Kate's wearing purple. <laughs> yeah, so as long as Kate's wearing purple, it's like the Lakers, isn't it? It's very Lakers. I could see that. It's that like very Lakers. This would be such a statement toward a Lakers game. Yeah, it would be. And now we're going to connect into the back as well. So front, and then we're going to come into the back. Straight edge blade. These razors are available on erosiopro.com. And uh, that's just the tip. I am teaching a razor advanced class later on uh, this, in this month. So we have a razor advanced class coming up at the end of uh, October. And then we have our virtual American wave class, which will be on the stage, which is right, been set up right in this room, in this salon. We have a permanent stage now so that we can do uh, promotion of all of our education and inspiration. There you go. Now let's come from the underneath. When you work from the underneath with a razor, which you couldn't do with a scissor because you can't cut from the underneath with a scissor on this side. So as you come from the underneath, you can work to the, uh, you can work to the length. You can work up to the length. Josie says, Nick and Arosho team, thank you for always being amazing and showing up no matter what. Even through everything this year, you've had no excuses and kept doing what you do. Thank you for inspiring and educating. Oh, you're very welcome. And that's part of my philosophy is, uh, you know what? We've got to turn up. We've got to turn up and make it happen. Do the best that we can. And that's what, I, uh, that's what I'm into. But thank you. If you want to do something, you've got to do it. 
and you got to do it even when you're not feeling like it. Nice. You've got to stay focused on uh, your dreams. She's a star. She's a star. She's I do love the little They're cute, aren't they? Really cute. Okay, so let's have a look and see. We came to the, what we, re we refer to this with the transition from the side to the back. Let's section out the top. Worry about the top later. We're at the same place on both sides, which means that we're at the transitional point right here. So this piece hasn't been cut. I'm going to stay on this side as I start to work towards creating a beautiful look for the amazing Lena. Scoop it out. Scoop it out. Trying to create like looseness, shagginess. That's tipping. So there's a lot of feel when you're doing this. It's like sketching the shape in. It's feel, it's flow, it's a different brain, it's a different connection to the brain. That's what it is, different connection to the brain. Different from when you're doing like technical scissor precision. This is much more freeform, but the technical precision uh, technique is what's helping me get this good. Now we go to the opposite side, have a look. Work the opposite way. We're not combing the hair out at 90. I'm trying to retain some length in here. She has the short undercut underneath. We're gonna cut from wet to dry. We photographed Lena in a photo shoot that we did just before the per 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 per, per pandemic. Yeah? And we did the shoot here. And we're going to be editing the photographs today. And soon, we're going to put her in one of those windows. And she can come with her mother and she can see herself. Yeah. Side to side, scooping up from the underneath. I shampooed her hair with gentle shampoo, a little bit of gentle conditioner. That's our sulfate free organic shampoo. We don't really go after the organic claim, but it's our natural shampoo. And, uh, you know, it's just a really beautiful, uh, one of our best sellers. Uh, Color Safe Shampoo is our best, best seller. And our gentle shampoo and our shine looks. And also our uh, ultraviolet which is our purple shampoo. So notice as I, uh, it's really one of those things that when you're learning this kind of stuff, it's more like watching rather than me trying to explain. Because it's like you don't explain when you're doing like a scope, you're kind of in the moment, so you just put in feeling. And I'm using my hands to just bring out that peaciness. Right there, there's just a little bit of length. And just allow that hair to move around. There's the shortness from the underneath. We'll clean that up in a second. Needs a little bit of cleaning. But I don't want to make it too perfect because we want to kind of have this loose texture. Stephen says, love this shape. Thanks. Perfect hair for this. Who's Stephen who? Stephen Statland. St oh, thanks, Stephen. I want to make sure we keep her outfit all clean. <clears throat> okay, so now we've just got the top. Just got the top to cut. So the razor comb is a great comb because it combs the hair without being too precise. Gives it a little bit more looseness and freedom. All right, I'm going to come from the top. He says cheers, mate, so I'm guessing he's from England. Well, maybe. He is now. Cheers, mate. Could be Australia. Or Australia. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Cheers, mate. So just coming through, diagonal forward. Come this hair back. Flat of the blade.
flat plane of the blade softness right here oh he's from jersey there you go where's everyone else from today oh you kate loves that i love that we have such we're worldwide yeah worldwide i went to asbury park last weekend shout out bruce springsteen who's he I met him once. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Was it like backstage behind, yeah. you know? Yep. Part of the gig? Mm -hmm. I was his talent PA, so I was in charge of getting him nuts and water and all that. Was you? <laughs> wow. I love that. If you're wondering about the flashing lights, we're having a disco in here <laughs> today. It's Frisco to the disco. And I'm going to come to this side. You've got Boston. I'll spin around to you. Stay there. Pennsylvania, Indiana, Louisville, Kentucky. I mean, Louisville, you're supposed to say it like fast or they make fun of you. Is that right? Yeah. Louisville. Chop, chop, bang, bang, girl. North Carolina. Keep your sections nice and clean no matter what. So you can stay mapped out with your haircut as you watch me cut hair with a razor you'll know that i always go back through so typically i'll go back through with a scissor so there's the tip of the blade tip of the blade just adding texture all the way over the top come this up working from the underneath that's the nice thing about the razor it's multi-directional because you're not moving two pieces of steel you're just moving your fingers up and down you can go back to front front to back either side gives you a new di it gives you a, a better dimension another added op opportunity another option look at that i'm just peeling peeling the top surface away we call that planing don't do it too, too much. Let me show you again, Kate. This might be a good Instagram clip. We can snip. We can snip. Right the bris. <laughs> so you're going to comb the hair nice and tight. So you get a nice flat plane. And then I'm going to peel the top layer. And you can see we call this planing using the full plane of the blade. To melt away the hair so you can see that just melts the top surface away then I'll go back in and go over the tipping I'll come to the other side and do the same thing we'll get another angle on that planing come, come through here Set and tipping forward comb this hair out need another section comb this hair out now let's do what we call planing so I'm using the full plane of the blade and I'm just peeling the top surface away. This is the most advanced razor cutting you can do. You don't want to do this on any client that is nervous about a razor. And you really need to understand your technique to be able to have confidence to do that. Because it really does uh, take a lot and add a lot of texture to the hair. Kelly says, oh, the control is amazing. Thanks, Kelly. One more time. So I'm just going to peel it away oh so you can gosh. see. It is like peeling. So we're just, this is called planing. Just taking that top surface away. And you can see what that does. It adds into the, the looseness. We don't want to cut it too short. If it gets too short, it's not going to be as cool. So now I'm going to piece out the, uh, the bang bang. I'm not going to shorten the bang bang, I'm going to piece out the bang bang. And the reason being I don't want to shorten it, because she's got strong hair, it's Asian hair. Uh, it's puffed up because of the, um, the colour. And now I'm just going to tip into it. And take out small little pieces. Tipping is a technique that we do. You can learn this on advanced razor cutting. 
We have a two-day advanced razor class, October the 25th, 26th, I believe. It's that Saturday, that's that Sunday, Monday. In-person class. So we'd, uh, if you're interested in expanding your horizons with razor cutting, we are pushing our forward to get as close to back to normal as possible. We just want to be like the rest of the country. Yeah, common sense, but just get back to normalcy so we can build our business. New York has lost so many people right now as they've moved out of the city and as we're trying to continue to push forward with our brand and our business, doing the best that we can. Tipping through. Come to the opposite side. Soon I'll be styling. Soon I'm gonna be styling because I wanna dry the hair and then scissor cut. And here, that long piece there is just gonna have to be a little, you can just pinch it, just take it away. Rosemary says effortless, and Mark says, wow, it looks great already. Thanks, Mark. You are an inspiration, Nick. Nice. <laughs> oh, hey, Lena. This is also Lena. Confusing. Now let's shake that out. Got the music on today. So look at this over the top. When you do it over the top like this, you've got to keep your hands steady. So you just got to keep your hands steady. Now this is more of a little light motion. I like it if you pinch the blade. It's a little bit more delicate and more in control. So you hold the blade in a slightly different way. Okay, just another go on one or two. Through here, you see that? Just like that. So soon we're gonna be setting up all of our training systems, which we'll be setting up right here in our Williamsburg location, Brooklyn. This is where we're going to be doing a, a lot of our digital education from. We're going to be launching a whole new platform for digital. That's going to be happening in the coming weeks. The equipment's installed. And soon, you're going to see a major upgrade in how we can do. This is our great education lo-fi. But soon, we're going to be able to take our education into hi-fi, high definition. And uh, we have four different cameras, angles everywhere from above, from the side. Do you need a camera operator? No, I've got one. <laughs> yeah. So he has to be here yeah, he does to everything. operate it? He does everything. He's our, he's our technical producer, videographer, editor, light fixer, cameraman, Printing company. <laughs> Here's our brand new dryer that's getting raving reviews. People are excited. Yeah, this is great. This morning, somebody said that it was making their Dyson coworkers jealous. Good. Not a big fan of the Dyson, <laughs> personally. Never have been. Not a big fan. I'm going to keep the cape on until we completely finish because she's very stylish and she's all in black, so... I want to make sure she stays stylish and not with white hair on it. Wow, love it. Much love from and Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Nice. Lisa Hauser says, can't wait for Expo. Us too. I feel like I've been waiting years. We have been waiting years. Expo. Do you know the date, Kate? The new date? Yeah. I can check that as a no. I don't. Is it May. I was going to guess May. Mid May. And it's the 13th, 14th, 12th, and 13th. Mid May is our expo. It's at the TWA uh, terminal, which is the classic terminal. Um, and there's a hotel, conference center, 
and we're gearing up. So we can't wait for Expo. I'm just shaking the hair and looking at the hair as I shake it. I got my dryer on low speed. And it's good to move from hand to hand. Different hands will move the hair in different ways. There's no product in the hair as of yet. And the hair is not bone dry, but it's, it's 80, 85%, 90% dry. Now it's scissor time. So now I'm gonna go through the scissors and we'll continue on this cut. Feeling good, Lena? Yeah. Those eyelashes. Great. And where did you get that, where did you get that devil uh, horn from, Kate? The app. Oh, the, the devil horn app? Yeah. Um, that's just an Instagram filter. Is it? Yes. What's it called? Honey. I forget, but I'll share the I'll share it to our story so we can all add devil horns. And also look at Lena's phone case. How cool is that? Back to the cut. I didn't put coronavirus on that phone, did you? I'll disinfect it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Are you going to get one? Yeah. Shop up the street, yeah? Yeah. Two sugars. Two sugars. Hot latte. You got it. Thank you, sir. Yeah, girl. It would be unfair to the other girls in the room, so I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> you want a coffee? Uh, I'm good. She's good? See? Thank you, Carl. Whew, it's hot. I was fr it was so cold this morning. Are you hot? Yeah. You're not hot. It must be the you think you're hot. <laughs> you think this you're mask hot. and the you know what? You think you're hot. <laughs> but you know what? You're not. You think you're hot, but you're not. Oh my god, that's gonna <laughs> that's what makes me sad. What makes you sad? Getting teased. Oh, you gonna be okay? I hope. You hope. So really now we're just really just cleaning up. It's still a little damp. If you don't see that, it still ha the hair still has mo moisture in it. I just want to kind of clean up any really wiggly pieces. Then we'll dry it and then we'll add product. I will add product and we'll dry it. Just tighten that up. So remember, we're taking clients here in our Williamsburg location. And uh, you can make an appointment with me here on Thursdays, or I'm in my Soho location the other five days a week. I'm there unless I'm teaching. I think we're going to change the name, Kate, okay, from Brooklyn Live. What are we going to change it to? Uh, I'm going to work on that. I think we're going to have a. We're going to have to. In, we're going to innovate. I was thinking last night about innovation. It's time. During times of trouble and strife, we've got to innovate. So I'm going to be innovating today. And uh, we're going to come up with some new concepts. So thanks everybody for watching. Uh, there's going to be more to see. There's going to be more to watch. There's going to be more to connect with. But we're going to innovate. Love we're going to change, we're going to do some different shenanigans, that is for sure. So get ready. Steven says for me to drop by Chop Chop Bang Bang next time in, I'm in Asbury Park. There you go. Chop Chop Bang Bang. That's Chicken a good name. Shit. That's a good name. That's a great name. Have any ideas for what the new Brooklyn Live name will be? Chop Chop Bang Bang. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks, David. <laughs> Catch up, my The question is, is Lisa's mother watching? Good. What's her name? 
Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. We love your daughter. It could be like a variety show. I get a whole segment based on my outfits. Yo, yo, it's all about <laughs> It's all about I don't mind, okay? <laughs> you can wear your, uh, as long as you wear your underpants. Because I know you like to wear men's underpants. <laughs> and yes. then, oh you my God. Wear your men's underpants. He always reveals my secrets. Yeah. We could have a talk of the town part where we go out yeah. there. Underpants, men's underpants. White, <laughs> big, white undies for a girl. She likes white undies, and I don't know why. <laughs> you know I can't do that. <laughs> so she said nothing. She went quiet when I'm in. I know. I'm underpants. like whatever. Yeah. Right, right. And I ripped my pants on Monday. Yup. You did. What about the flood? Sloppy Mondays was a. The flood was <laughs> and the flood happened. And there was 11 people mopping during a haircut. It was something to see, you guys. Get your mop on. Nick loves a Y front. I like a Y. Is that a type of underwear? I don't know. I don't not want to know. You have a Y, so then you can uh, you oh, have to pull down. Oh, that's like a girl's undie? You or have a Y, so you don't have to pull down. What is this variety show going to be rated? Rated, uh, why? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> be the new Saturday night. It's gonna be Friday night live. We have this whole stage. We have everything. No. So just very gentle with your hands, just shaking out the hair. Softly. I can still feel the moisture in the hair, so almost finished. A little more scissor cutting and then we'll layer some products in. And then Kate will demask Lena on the roof and get some nice shots. Nice day outside today, yeah? Yes. Product-wise, we're going to have a play in a second. Remember, you can get connected to Erosio and carry our product line in the salons. You know, truly committed to the professional stylist, tied to education. So come here, Kate. So just in the hairline here, just right here, I'm going to chop this up a little bit, right in here. Spin around a little. It's right there. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. What does it say? It's like never forget your beginning hearts. Say that again. Never forget your beginning hearts. Never forget your beginning heart. How do you say it in is it Chinese? One to see. One to see. Ooh, one to see. Ooh, one to see. Any good? <laughs> trying, I'm trying. All right, so right there, just shoot it up a little bit. Let him bother for a minute. Just use your scissor just to chew it up a little. Just chop it up. Chop, chop. One, two, three. Interesting question. What kind of finishing projects would you avoid using on this look? Sticky. Anything sticky. Nothing sticky. I don't want anything sticky. Anything that's going to kind of piece and stick the hair together is not going to look good. So I got this brilliant product that I think I'm going to try. I'm going to try dry. I'm going to go over there and have a look, you know, not thought too much about it. Uh, but in my brain, I'm thinking dry conditioner, dry conditioner. Because dry condition is dry, but it's going to add a little bit of silk. I don't want it to be gunky and... Because uh, I kind of like the texture, to be honest with you. I like the texture. It's a little bit of point cutting right in here. Any 
questions. If anyone's got a question, you know who to call. You can ask Kate and she'll tell me of anything that we're doing. I think it's time. There comes a point where you just got to stop. Just calm that down. I'm just looking for some wiggle, wiggly bits. Rosie's wondering if you would use a razor on curly hair. Yeah, all the time. It's not the razor that does the damage, it's the hairdresser. So if you razor it badly, I wouldn't razor it like this. If I did the razoring that I did here on curly hair, I'd be asking for trouble. I don't want to ask for trouble. I'm going to decape in a second, so I'm just going to blast the hair. Let's go high speed. <laughs> Awesome work, looks so good. Dry conditioner is my favorite. Okay, so what we'll do is let's take off this. So we see that she's attached to her body. It's like Kill Bill today, isn't it? I like could just see him Kill Bill. Yeah, totally. She's a samurai sword. Yeah, and she could. you two could fight. That? The black mamba, the Asian black mamba, oh. against the... Uh, I'd be, yeah, in the first Kobe with the yellow. You'd be the Kobe. <laughs> the, oh, man, I actually just forgot. Okay, so dry conditioner. The eye of the tiger, even the tiger princess. Mm -hmm. got a big, is that a tiger or a lion? A tiger. Yeah, tiger. Dry conditioner. See straight away, it adds silk and it kind of puts that definition in, but it's still very touchable. See how touchable it is? And you can put, so like you're on set, you can put a lot. This product retails, I think it's $24. So the price point's really good. One of the things that I did with my product line is I just made the products more attainable because they didn't make them so expensive. It doesn't wet the hair, this brings out that peasiness. Now I'm going to give it a little bit more blast. Okay, so we got two questions. Two questions. Um, one is, would you call this a pixie cut? Uh, you could. Pixie shag. You can call it a pixie shag. Oh, cute. Shag. Love that. And uh, what's the difference between dry conditioner and dry shampoo? Uh, dry shampoo is going gonna, is gonna, to like uh, take out oil. It's going to take out moisture. That's what a dry, sh dry shampoo does. And then a dry conditioner is going to add silk and softness. Think of one as dry cleaning and think of the other as like a fabric softener. Dry conditioner is like a fabric softener. Hold that for me, sweet. Uh, let me put some dry shampoo in and I'll show you. Because this is great. This is, uh, you can combine them together. So I refinish dry shampoo. It's gonna bulk the hair up. See when I say bulk the hair up? Mm -hmm. See what it does? I want the hair to get thicker and more piecey and more, more controlled. To, it's got hold to it, but it's very dry. So you see? See what this does? It makes it so much more. It's got hold. The dry condition wouldn't do that. So right now it's giving the hair like some structure, some strength. It's got the dry conditioner in it. I'll put the dryer on it, it's gonna blow that out. It's really good to layer a lot of product. Look at this, look at what the dry texture spray does. It's called dry shampoo, it's our texture spray. Not a hairspray. 
So you can see how it completely changes it. And you can maneuver the hair around. But I'm gonna blow it, I can blow it out. So you see, look, put loads in. Does that change that completely? Must up, you know, hair. So you can push this back. Even get this to go back. See that? Even get that to go back. It's not a hairspray. Now she looks crazy. <laughs> yeah, her mum's not going to let her in the car. But that's the dry shampoo. It's a dry, starchy type product. It feels like there's volume and texture and structure. No teasing or back combing. Now let's get the dryer on it again. And I can soften that down because there's products to build up texture and products to take it away. So let's not go too strong with the blow dryer. Let's go softer. Let's still soften it out. So now I've got the texture. And now I'm going to soften it up. The heat's going to push, reactivate the dry conditioner. The dry shampoo's already in. It's going to give the hair way more, way more texture. Again, it's just good to play with products. In this time when you're not maybe as busy as one could be if you weren't living through a pandemic, it's time to play and practice. Keep busy. Keep your mind busy. Keep your energy. I understand it's stressful when you're not making money or you're not making as much money as maybe you've made in the past. Maybe you're lucky, maybe you are making money. But there's a lot of people out there that, you know, we're struggling because people don't want to come to the salon. Hair is non-essential, according to uh, the politicians. So I get it. But it's important for you to have something to look forward to. If you're not busy on a day, find something to do. Look at you, plan your week. I'm a guy that likes structure. Yeah? I want to plan my week, I want to plan my day. I like to plan everything. I like to know what I'm doing. And then if I get up and don't know what I'm doing, then it's not going to work for me. But these are difficult times. Some of the toughest times that we probably ever experienced in our life. It's not over yet, it's going to get worse. It's not going to get better, especially not in this state. It's going to get worse. So hopefully we just keep pushing on and try our best. And you'll see that that's now giving the hair more, I pulled it down, it's got the hair more memory. So it's not as floppy. Especially when you're on a photo shoot. When you're on a photo shoot, it's two dimensional. So you, the, the image is two dimensional. So you want to make it more, more defined. So like more pieciness, more solid pieces. If it's too bitty, it doesn't read well. So what does that mean? It, when the light doesn't reflect off the hair in the same capacity. So you don't want to make it too bitty. Too, you want to kind of like, you see how I've got like this panel here? The light will shine off that. Yeah? So you make it more obvious for the photograph. The light shines off. You happy? Yeah. You like it? Mm -hmm. I'll get it ready and then Kate's gonna get some great pictures and we're gonna post it, yeah? Any final questions, guys? As we conclude Brooklyn Live, which is gonna change its name to Kate on Wild. <laughs> Men's, we're going to change it to men's underpants. <laughs> Where did you get them from, Kate? My ex. Your ex? Yeah. He left you his knickers. <laughs> Your ex left you his knickers and you started wearing them. You're missing one much. <laughs> and now everybody knows. If you miss it that much, you put his underpants on and give you only power. My, like, XXX. Oh, how many X's did you have? <laughs> XXX. 
That's triple X. Brings me back to my London Tony and Guy days in the 80s. Oh, yeah, it is very uh, Tony and Guy ish, yeah? It's very Tony and Guy ish. Kind of PC choppy, you know? That's, I think I, I, I get that. So you don't want to get it too, you don't want it to be too full here. You want it to kind of be a bit flatter here. Again, you know, I get like, you know, practice play. Do, do have, you know what we're going to do? The L'Oreal competition. I'm going to mobilize to do the L'Oreal competition. I have an idea. Is your friend still here that I did that Razor Bob on? The Austra is she Australian? Or oh, did she go to Australia? Uh, wait. The one who did the... Why can't I remember? You did a Razor Bob? I'm breaking in the Soho. Oh, Melina. Shook it. Wait. It's okay. You know, I'll tell you. you How? Lose your memory if you do too much of that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? If you do too much of that stuff, you lose your memory. Just because they're almost legalized. The Australian part is what's getting me because I had the Australian friends, but they had long hair. The bob, the girl with the bob. The She's brown a hair. Stylist, brown hair. She's a fashion stylist. I don't know if she's a model. She did cheap sets. Set design. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. no idea. <laughs> what day is it, Kate? Thursday, October Whoa! 8th. Darling cut. Stunning. There you go. So, voila. Once Kate remembers Woo! what we are going to get. Gorgeous. Oh, my gosh, yes. Eyes at the camera. Can't wait. Ugh. Gorgeous. I like the sound effects. <laughs> I like the sound effects. 